Hi everybody, this is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. This is Cat Crazy Creations Crochet. I hope everybody is doing well and that you have had a lot of crocheting crafty time since my last video. Um, I have um, been busy and have new projects to share. But first off, if you're new, welcome. I hope that you see something that you enjoy and that you will hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that just lets you know when I have uploaded a video and I would love to have you aboard. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. I love sharing and I appreciate all of you for coming back and checking out what I've been up to. Um, before I show you what's going on, though, I would like to say that this channel is a crochet and cross stitch channel. I will alternate my crochet and cross stitch every other week. So as you know, this is a crochet video. Next week I will do cross stitch. I also throw other things in in between, maybe haul, um, life updates, pets, um, different crafts that I might be trying out and I will give you reviews on them and let you know if I like them or I didn't. But it is basically a crochet cross stitch channel. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, in my last video, uh, when I showed the crochet um, pot holders, hot pads, and my mom's doilies, I had mentioned that I was going to be starting two, well, one Afghan and baby items. So I was able to get a printer and um, I was able to copy off the part of the pattern that I was going to need for the mandala um, blanket. So I have started that and I want to share that and all the beautiful colors that are in that blanket. And I also am going to do an unboxing or an unbagging as this would be um, of what I'm going to be starting for my sister-in-law's daughter's baby that is due in about mid-September. So here we go. Okay. So the first thing is going to be the mandala blanket. And this is from Hirschner's. It is worsted eight and it's the macaron afghan. So this is what I'm going to be making. Is that beautiful? And I am right in this area right here. I have just finished that, there's blue, it's like probably really hard to see, but there's blue around that. So that's where I am on that. There is 68 rows, and I am on, let me see, round 8, and there is 68 rounds, so it's a very big blanket, but I love it. So let me show you. Here it is. Let me get my thing up here so I don't miss any. Okay. So, here is the front. This is what I have done so far. Really, really pretty. Really, really like how that is. Very textured. But I'm loving it. This, the Hirschner's. Um, worsted yarn, very, very soft. I would recommend this yarn. I would recommend it. It is easy to work with. It is so soft. It's like baby soft. 
it is soft it is soft yarn so there it is this is what I have so far and once again here so I'm just right around right here so that's where I'm at so far and loving it this is such a fun project so that's where I'm at on that now I want to show you the colors okay so I have two this is the Hirschner's worsted yarn it is four weight and 100% acrylic it is 8 ounces, 226 grams, 489 yards. And this is the color tea rose. But anyway, yeah, so pretty. So I have two of those. And this is the color I'm working with now. And this is country blue. They're all the same size. But they are, they are so soft. I just, that was one thing I just couldn't get over is how soft that it is. I have one of this and this is teal, which is one of my colors. So there's that color. Really pretty. I've got two of these, which is Glacier. Really pretty. So I have two of those. I have two of these, like really light pink really light pink and they are called blush so I have two of those and then I have one that is called soft gold so it's really there's two of the colors, two of the colors, go, and then that. So that is everything, and I also, there, I, there's a pack of Three hooks. I'm using the eye hook, that's what it called for, and then a needle. So, yeah, very, very happy with it. So, this was off <coughs> Hirschner's. This was gifted to me. This, the pattern and yarn, was all gifted to me, but it is a Hirschner's um, pattern. And I do not know it. I'm sure this was a kit, is what I'm thinking, because it came in the bag, everything. So this was a kit, I would imagine. But it is so fun to work this. I was kind of intimidated by the fact that it was a mandala because it looks, when you look at them, they look like, you know, there's a lot to them. But once you start working on them, so far, anyway, I am very, just starting it. So I've still got like 60 more rounds to go. But right now, I am loving working on this. And just the feel of the yarn 
um, you know, it's, it's easy on the hands. So anyway, that is one of the projects that I am currently working on. And it's called the Macaron Afghan. Okay, now for my unboxing, which I have um, opened so I could have as little amount of crinkle as possible. Okay, what I decided, I did not have any baby yarn, so to speak. Um, if I would have known about these Hirschner yarn, I would have used, I would have got me some of this, but I just recently worked on, started working on it, so I didn't realize how soft it was. But I didn't have anything soft like I wanted for a baby. So I didn't really want to purchase a lot of yarn right now, but I thought I would start out with doing an afghan or a baby blanket um, because I know that that would probably be the more time-consuming thing to make. So it came to me, well, why don't I look on one of the, you know, like Kirshner's, Mary Maxim, whatever, and see if I can find a kit. That way I can just get what I need because I don't make a lot of baby things right now. And um, then I can kind of get what I need and not have to buy excess yarn and all of that. So I went to Mary Maxim, which is right here, Mary Maxim, and I got a kit. So it's just the yarn and it is the pattern. So here it is, comes in the bag. And it is called Rippled, Rippled Columns Baby Blanket. It is 24 inch or 24 and a half inches by 29 inches. And they say it's an easy pattern. So there it is. And let me open it up and take. It out. So here it is. They gave you color choices, and here is the instructions front and back. The instructions, and so this is the yarn that I picked. It's Mary Maxim Baby Blanky Yarn. It says one ball makes a blanket. It is four weight. Uh, let me see, I'm trying to... The color is bubble gum. It is approximately 695 yards, 100% acrylic, 300 grams, 10.5 ounce. So it's a nice big size, but there it is. That's the color that I will make the baby blanket with. And I'll be getting started on that as well. So on my next video, you should see um, both of these progress on both of the Afghans. So anyway, yeah, and I will let you know how I like the um, baby yarn and how the pattern is turning out and everything as I work on it and so and I will give you my opinion if you know I like like the kits like that or if I would have rather got my own yarn and whatever so I will like kind of do a review as I'm going on that but I can a hundred percent 
um, recommend the Hirschner's worsted yarn. That is so soft and so far it's working up. I'm not having any snags, any pulling a part of the yarn. Everything is going really, really good with that. So anyway, that's all I have to share for this time. I know there was a lot of talking going on here with everything, but yeah, I wanted to do the unboxing and I wanted to go over all the yarn because it's really, really nice. So anyway, thank you so much for coming back and checking out what I've been working on and what I'm going to start working on. I do appreciate it. Thank you for liking, for commenting, for sharing my videos. It means a lot to me. Um, so um, make sure to stay safe, take care, and I will see you on the next video.